Welcome everybody, this is video number 37 and we're going to be talking about compounds today. So as you guys asked me in class to do is to give you the summary beforehand. So I would like you to define and describe a compound. What's the difference between an element and a compound? And I want you to be able to read the diagram like H2O and be able to say that's two hydrogen and one oxygen. All right, so let's do a quick review on elements. Elements only have one capital letter. Now they can have up to two lowercase. They are a single, single substance and they're all found and organized on the periodic table. Take for instance Ca up here, which is calcium, and calcium only has one capital letter. That way you know it's an element. Also, you can find it on the periodic table. Now, when you start talking about a compound, you're gonna start talking about two or more elements that are chemically combined in a very specific ratio. Uh, formula is another way to say that, or recipe is another way to say that. So if you look at our compound up here, which is CO2, which is what you give off after you do respiration, you've got one carbon and two oxygen. And I know it's compound because it's got two capital letters. So compounds combine two or more elements. Now they certainly can um, combine three, four, or five elements as well. Um, they are chemically bonded together. And what that means is they're not easy to separate at all. All right, when you form a compound, you form a brand new substance. It doesn't resemble or look like its parents at all, or even um, remotely act like the elements that were used to make it. The example I have for you here is the one I've told you before in class. So if you take hydrogen gas, which is H2 there, plus O2, which also happens to be oxygen, both of them are a gas, both of them are very flammable. If you combine them in a two to one ratio, so two hydrogen to one oxygen, you're gonna make liquid water. When was the last time that you blew up water? Not exactly, right? So it's very different from what it starts with. All right, here's time to try for yourself. So I've got three different, uh, no, four different items here. I've got H2O, NI, SB, NaCl. Can you tell me if they're an element or a compound? Go ahead and put me on pause. Okay, how'd you do? Thumbs up? So hopefully you got H2O was compound because you got two capital letters. You got hydrogen and oxygen. The next one, NI, is nickel. That only has one capital letter. We can also find nickel on the periodic table. The next one, SB, is antimony. Happens to be my initials. Uh, and that's an element also found on the periodic table. And the last one is a compound, NACL. You probably have this next to the pepper on your dinner table. This is salt. Now, chemical formulas um, are something that all compounds have. A formula is similar to a recipe. You might heard it um, say as a math word, as a ratio, and it really shows you how much of each element is needed in order to make that compound. Mabel, are you gonna come say hi? All right, so apparently Mabel's coming to say hi. Say hi, Mabel. So, Chemical formula, the recipe for making water we know is two hydrogen to one oxygen. And actually, if you were gonna draw that, this is what it would look like. All three of these represent the same thing. So if you haven't diagrammed this for me, please do that. Mabel, tell them, say, diagram it, diagram it. All right, enjoy your video clip. How do we know that atoms combine to make molecules? Well, please, consider the following. This is H2O. Water. Two parts hydrogen and one part oxygen. When the atoms come together, they stick. Okay, but, but how do we know? Well, take a look at this. In here, we have some water. And we're passing electricity through. When we do, we get two gases. If we let it go long enough, there'll be no water. Liquid left at all, just the gases. And they're pure. They're each made of just one kind of element. On top of that, there's twice as much of this gas as this gas. By doing a lot of experiments like this, scientists have figured out that well, uh, H2O is two parts hydrogen and one part oxygen, with the hydrogens on one side and the oxygen on the other. Kind of like uh, mouse ears. <laughs> uh huh. See? H2O is great! Well, Mabel and I hope you... <laughs> You're funny. Mabel and I hope you enjoyed that video clip of Bill Nye. Hold on, Mabel. 
All right, so we have a challenge for you, right, Mabel? We have a challenge? Oh, you're so out of here. All right, see you, bye. All right, challenge for you, and I'd like to include it in your summary, is O2 a compound or an element? Please explain. And I've given you a diagram here to help you out. So remember, so we're back at summary time, so define and describe a compound. What's the difference between an element and a compound? And make sure you are able to read and diagram a compound like H2O. And I'll show you the rules on how to do this, but just understand you're going to have to have two hydrogen and one oxygen. All right, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in class.